Febrile seizures. They occur in febrile children between 3 months and 6 years of age who are otherwise healthy and have thus far been developing normally. By definition, there must not be any evidence of an acute metabolic abnormality or intracranial infection or pathology, and the child must have had a normal development without any prior unprovoked seizures. These findings would be indicative of an alternate diagnosis. Most febrile seizures are of the simple type, which usually cause a generalized tonic-clonic convulsion of 3 or 4 minutes duration that does not recur within a 24-hour period. However, simple febrile seizures can last up to 15 minutes and other types of generalized convulsions may occur, such as atonic or tonic seizures. During a seizure, do not attempt to displace the patient's tongue or perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Simply move hard objects away from the patient and place a pillow or another soft item under the patient's head. A focal onset, duration longer than 15 minutes, and recurrence within 24 hours are characteristic features of a complex febrile seizure, which has a somewhat less reassuring prognosis. Admission to the hospital for diagnostic testing is not indicated for simple febrile seizures. Instead, focus the workup on the underlying febrile illness. Especially in young children, it is crucial to rule out an intracranial infection such as meningitis. A lumbar puncture, for example, may be indicated in infants, children on antibiotics, when the seizure is prolonged, and when the seizure occurs after the first day of illness. One of the most important aspects of management is to educate the caregivers on the benign nature of simple febrile seizures. They do not cause brain damage. They are not associated with learning disabilities. They are not due to epilepsy, which is defined by the reoccurrence of unprovoked seizures. Since febrile seizures have an identifiable trigger, the fever, they do not meet the criteria for a seizure disorder even if they recur multiple times. And they do not greatly increase the risk of epilepsy. The risk of epilepsy following a simple febrile seizure increases from 1% for the general population to 2%. Prophylactic anticonvulsant therapy is not recommended for simple febrile seizures. It is generally accepted that the prevention of febrile seizures is not worth the risk of potential adverse effects due to anti-epileptic medications. If the febrile seizures recur, the parents may be provided with rectal diazepam to administer to the child in the event of another seizure.